you got control of the car. He's got his hands on the, the back of this bed, and you try to pull the hands off, and they're resisting. If I relax a second and squeeze this point, the hand releases. Now I can bring it right back in, or I can get that hand right back up into control. In fact, it doesn't matter how, if you could uh, grab onto my, my shirt here. He's got me here. I could just weaken him down, so now we can get him into a better position. It'll happen everywhere for you. It's just tactical, feel, okay, and after a while, it just becomes automatic. Actually, be used also to take the person all the way off their feet. If I've grabbed onto their wrist in this position, we get right down onto his back here, switch hands so we get him right into a better position for ourselves for safety and to control of the individual. Give me your money. I, I, I want to go. I want to go. Give me your money. Give me your other hand. Give me your other hand. Give me your other hand. We have the guy up against the wall, okay? As he starts pushing off, maybe in a resistance strike, if I take it right back in, I can get him controlled right back against the wall, okay? Now that, that position right there will also lead into the, the goal tendon, where I can keep that person pinned and moving. He tries to move again, I can shift that and it just weakens him out. Let go! I said let go! I'm not trying to physically lift him with his weight and his strength. All I'm going to do is pluck him and pull right out. That's one hand. Now, I wouldn't do that because now I've lost control of the individual altogether. So bring it back in once more. Okay, as he's resistant, I can't get it out. If I pluck this, it comes right back out. I can again get him into that control factor. Give me your arm. No, stop. Give me the other arm. Just drop both of them down, hold that chin down, and you get him into that position. Now, from there, you're gonna have to open up his jaw. So, all you do is after you press the person down, just say open, 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 okay? And he won't be able to swallow as you're doing that. Now, I'm sorry, because that really hurts, but they won't be able to swallow. You can give them to open up their mouth, and you can get them to get dislodge the uh, drugs before they get them swallowed. Get on the ground! Turn towards me, turn towards me. Put your hand behind your back. Give me the other hand. Give me that arm! Give me that arm! Give me that arm right now! What you gotta do is you gotta actually slide down to the top of the iliac crest and then push and see how that wound comes out of the body. It's an invaluable point. Even from behind the person, if I need to sit him down, I can just tuck him right down there and then I got control over head points or I can get the arm as well. 
Get off him! Get off him! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Stay in bed. You stay where you're at. If you've got the side position, okay, or even if you don't, you need to step to the side, bring up your knee to get that leg to like buckle that out to gain control over the individual. The guy comes right in and bang, we take that leg right out. We got the guy again into a nice controlled position where we have control and we can access the handcuffing technique. Right out. Now on the inside, I'll show you a couple things to do with that on the, uh, on, on the technique. But I'm say I'm having some trouble down in through here. Maybe I don't want to lift my leg for this. I can even sit down in the sideways to drop that person's leg down and out. Okay, so that's another valuable technique to work on when this steps on. And I'm going cautious. But if I step right into it with a little body weight, he's going to go right down to the floor. Okay, now I'm going to step on it. I'm going to ask you to fall down to the floor so I don't take you down. Okay, I'm stepping on it. He falls to the floor. Okay, I can just take him here. Now it looks like he's, for all intents and purposes, going to kick him. But if I just stomp on that, what happens is. Stand still. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Give me the other hand. Give me the other hand. That one up there right now. Okay. Turn away from me. Turn away from me. 